With Cataclysm having been out for over a month and with me putting in over 400 hours into the game, God, I need a new hobby. It's time to take a look at how good or bad the expansion actually is. We've heard plenty over the last few months over why Cataclysm was either the beginning of the end or why it's actually way better than people think. But after putting in the hours, how good or bad is it actually? Well, any expansion release is always a period of thrill and excitement. I cannot remember an expansion launch in the history of WoW where I did not find the new expansion fun and engaging for at least a week or two. But after putting in the equivalent of 16 days of gameplay into the expansion, the rose-tinted goggles have come off and it's time to review the expansion for what it is. Let's get some disclaimers out of the way. We're still in the first phase of the expansion, but with no new content coming in later phases apart from the raids that I'm already very familiar with, I feel pretty safe in giving my opinion of the expansion at this stage. Second, this is seen from the perspective of a high-end raider who has already cleared the raids on Heroic many times over on many characters and may not necessarily be reflective of the average person's experience. But with that out of the way, let's take a look at what Cataclysm has to offer. Before jumping into any of the features, let's talk a little bit about class design and the revamps a lot of the classes got moving into this expansion. I can't speak to as how much of a win or lose this was for all classes out there. But by and large, the majority of classes got improved in my opinion. Most classes moved to a builder slash spender rotation with a priority based system with huge rewards for someone playing optimally. Despite the somewhat less flexible talent trees, a lot of the choices we have to make feel impactful and force us into making value trades based on our playstyle and what the raid values. As a blood DK, I have a ton of decisions to make in regards to if I want to optimize for damage, survivability, single target, or AoE. As a warrior, I have to make decisions on if I want to optimize my damage output with deep wounds, kite with piercing howl, provide one of the strongest external cooldowns in the game with safeguard, or go into tactical mastery in order to stay on stance. I know some classes are not as happy with the changes made to their class in Cataclysm and some of the degenerate snapshotting you have to do in order to compete for the high damage rankings. But overall, the rotation feels more dynamic and make you feel like you have more of an impact, which is a big W in my book. In regards to features, the big selling point of Cataclysm originally was the revamping of the old world. And having leveled through it, it's quite a welcome change in the context of the more modern version of our classic journey. That being said, a lot of people don't really get to experience it as either they have all the alts they want already, or they sit in a capital city while spamming the random dungeon fighter instead of questing. Not to mention the level boost that takes you all the way to level 80. When one of the core features of the expansion is something that people don't meaningfully engage with, then the expansion as a whole can feel a little bit lackluster. The leveling experience from 80 to 85 is in my opinion really good and far more enjoyable than previous expansions. The zones are engaging, fast-paced, and have a narrative thread weaving together all of the zone's quests to make you feel like you're progressing through a story, rather than just looting 10 things to turn in for experience. Leveling through it for the first time felt great, even if a few of the zones had some bottlenecks at launch due to the large amount of people competing for tax and resources. But after leveling a few alts, I'm definitely at the stage where I just want to get to 85 as efficiently as possible and have thus put a lot of mobs in Halt of Lightning into an early retirement as a consequence. Once 85, the true Cataclysm experience begins, and as with any expansion thus far, that means heading into Heroic Dungeons to farm gear and reputation. Now, Cataclysm Heroics are notorious for being difficult. And as someone who played Cataclysm back in the days, I very much remember having to crowd control mobs on a ton of packs as to not risk a full wipe. But that was definitely not my experience this time around. On all my tanks, I've hopped into heroics right after being in 85 with little to no trouble. As far as I can tell, they are in a nerfed state and we as players are just much better at playing the game than we were all those years ago. And that's a bit of a shame in my opinion. I think that's the reason why Classic desperately needs dungeon progression content as pretty much all content outside of raiding is made obsolete as soon as pre-raid best in slot gear is acquired. Whether that's a mythic plus type system or a challenge mode that caps our item level, the gamma dungeons from rat just simply ain't it. 
While I'm definitely not huge on PvP, the addition of Raided Battlegrounds was absolutely huge and if you engage with it in a meaningful way, it can be one of the most fun things this game has to offer. Of course, the classic community doing what it does best has collectively agreed on optimizing the fun out of the lower ratings, with the meta being to have one big fight in the beginning and whoever loses that fight will AFK for the rest of the game. This becomes less and less the meta the higher up the rankings you go. So it's not a big problem in my opinion, so that the people who want their 2 set PvP gear for their PvE set can do that without much trouble. That brings us on to the raiding content, which is ultimately the bread and butter of the expansion. Let's talk briefly about the decision to make the raid size adjustable between 10 and 25 men, as I have some mixed feelings about it. On the one hand, I think it's a great thing for people who prefer a more tight-knit group of people to progress through the raids with. And as someone who has several alts but only one main raid team, it has been great to be able to put together a group of people to clear heroic content without needing to organize with 24 other players. While there are definitely some differences in the difficulty, it's overall much better tuned than I expected as I remember hearing horror stories from the 10-man difficulty in tier 11 from back in the days. That being said, playing 10 men still very much feels like playing 10 men in Rats of the Lich King, despite it being created as an equal counterpart to 25 men. 10 men logs are meaningless, and with it dropping less loot proportionally to 25 men, it still feels like 25 men rating is the way you're supposed to play the game. Looking at tier 11, I have to say that I'm a big fan. The three raids make you feel different as you go from boss to boss and give you a ton of flexibility in what order you choose to pursue your progression bosses. The difficulty curve is perfect for the average player in my opinion, but as someone who raids at a bit of a higher level, I would have preferred to have an end boss with a higher difficulty curve in order to have something to really progress on. But instead we got three end bosses which were rather similar in difficulty. But I'm not too bummed out about that as Firelands will almost certainly have just that, depending on what kind of tuning we'll end up getting. Right now I'm at the stage in Cataclysm where I'm in full maintenance mode, and with as much loot dropping as it does, I will probably be full bits before the next raid here comes out. That also means that if they decide to implement a gamma style dungeon system in the next phase like they've hinted at before, that content will likely be useless from a progression perspective, which will also be a bit of a bummer. Ultimately, I think Cataclysm is a solid expansion and is very similar to Wrath in my opinion. If you're the type of person who enjoys to raid log while playing a different game on the side, then this version of WoW is the perfect game for you. If you want to play more than just during raid nights, then this expansion does not necessarily facilitate that, unless transmog and achievement hunting is something that you enjoy. This expansion, as a whole, gets a rating of eh, mid. Let me know how you've been experiencing Cataclysm so far and if your experience differs from mine. There is plenty more content to come, so if you enjoy what I do, then make sure to subscribe. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.